Hello, Bookworm family. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Danny. If you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell because it's always a mystery when I post new videos. And if you're not already following me on Instagram, please go do that. The link is in the description box down below, but it is at Danny's Book Corner 2018. And I post on there way more than I post on here, so you should definitely go follow me there. Guys, I am feeling better, finally. Okay, I'm not feeling like 100%, like I definitely still have a runny nose and like a really bad cough, but I have my voice back. I'm not like dying in bed, so life is good. I like was able to function at work this week, extra good. And I had a whole day out today, so I'm really tired, so like bags under my eyes and stuff. But I had a whole day out today, um, and I went, to Red Lobster with my fam and I went to um, Barnes & Noble. So this video is something that I haven't done before and I'm excited about it but it was one of my Barnes & Noble purchases and I wasn't going to post this for a while but then I saw that the Potter Collector posted his already today so I was like oh well if we're starting the trend I guess I can post it now because I'm really curious as to what's in it but it is a Harry Potter advent calendar so this one is a little bit different it's not actually called an advent calendar um this is like more of like a universal holiday one um and it does not have 24 days it only has 18 um but I did purchase this at Barnes & Noble for $40. I know. What did I do? What did I do? And I went to work and I was regretting my life choices and the kids all told me that it was okay that I bought this. So that's okay because the kids said so. Yeah. Um, but this is the Magical Infinity gift box set. It comes with 18 different unique prizes in it. And um, basically it says discover the magic inside. Keep rotating the Infinity gift box to reveal all 18 items, including exclusive never before seen Yule plush ball yule ball plush designs so let's open it up and find out so you know and it really irritated me because i was at barnes and noble and i was doing my shopping and there was one of these open and people took stuff out of it and i was like guys that's not cool so if you're one of those people don't do that because you know i get not all of us have forty dollars to spend on these kind of things but you're also taking away the fun from like somebody who really likes it and I'm not just talking about adults like me like little kids like this stuff too so like you know don't be a jerk but anyway so this is beautiful so the very first thing we see is the castle and Mr. Potter up there flying with a hippogriff little buck beak little little headwig down there very exciting stuff um and then we have the boxes on this side and then it keeps opening uh, for you to get all the boxes. So there should be 18 boxes. So let us begin. I'm not going to go in any specific order. I'm just going to start opening. So we're going to start with, does that open? No, that doesn't open. Okay. So we're going to start with this one with Luna. Oh, what a great place to start. Oh, little Luna love good. And this is, um, I don't know which twin it is, but it's one of the twins, um, from the Yule Ball, is this, who is this? I know it's the Parvati twins, but which one is this? Is this, mm, I don't remember, I don't remember which twin this is. Oh, I'm so bad. But that is the first one that we opened, and this is just a little keychain that's like a Funko Pop kind of keychain. Is it Funko Pop? Does Funko Pop produce this? No. This is just a cute, oh, it's You Me Toys. You Me Toys produces this, so it's not really Funko Pop. It's like a, just a cute little keychain one. I don't know if you guys can see that with the glare. But that's the one it looks like. If you know which twin this is, let me know. So, next we're gonna go to a little Crookshanks down here. I'll start with Luna and then Crookshanks and I love them both, so. Let's see who this is. This is Hermione in her Yule Ball dress. Her hair is very blonde in this. I feel like Hermione's hair is not actually that blonde, but still cute. So another little keychain. I like a big keychain person. So I hope there's not like too many more keychains in here, but I do like a couple. I hang them up up there. You guys can kind of see that like, uh, where is it? How do I? Uh, Hogwarts one right there. And there's like a couple more hanging up there. So not horrible, just not my favorite things. Um, I'm trying to figure out what opens. <laughs> All right. So here we go. We're going to open this one down here. It's the little Quidditch pitch. And this is a big one. <gasps> is Harry. He's a little stuffed Harry in his little tuxedo for the Yule Ball. Or his dress robes, I'm sorry. He's in his dress robes. Oh, he's got this little lightning bolt. So cute. All right. Let's see. What opens next? Okay. Um, well, let's see. I guess over here. 
Does that open? No, that doesn't open. Okay, we'll go with Hedwig, because I like Hedwig. Well, Hedwig baby up here. Let's see. Oh, mm. we've got magnets, and these are Gryffindor and Slytherin magnets. So I'm sure Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw are in here somewhere as well, but we've got, look how cute they are. These are so cute. I love them. I love this box so far. It's so cool. And I mean, honestly, for 40 bucks, like, you're definitely getting at least $40 worth of stuff. Like, if not more, because, like, these keychains alone are, like, five bucks because they're trademarked. And, and like, these are, like, you know, like, probably a package of four is, like, five bucks because they're trademarked. You know what I'm saying? So, you're definitely getting your money's worth. So, we're going to go to, do I want to do little or big? We'll go little. We'll do this little, cute, an adorable little Death Eater symbol. Uh, and let's see what's in here. We've got, ooh. We've got a buckbeak patch. A little, little bit of a hippogriff buckbeak. And it's a patch that you can put on your clothes or other places. A little buckbeak. Buckbeak is not like my favorite magical creature. Like, this is going to sound weird, but I really love Fang. Like, Fang's adorable and he doesn't get enough credit because he's just a dog. But he's adorable. Love Fang. Anyway. Haggard and I would be like BFF. That's true. All right, so we're gonna open this big one. That's got the Gryffindor symbol. Ooh, I like it. This is Hermione in her um, uh, her uh Yule Ball outfit. That's so cute, and her hair goes all the way down to her back. Oh, so cute. And these are like little little like hangable ones. So I have stuff like this too, but I don't I don't hang them up because they're not like. You know what I'm saying? They're like not like great quality, but I have these ones now that are great quality and I will hang them up somewhere, somewhere in my room. I think I have enough Harry Potter stuff on my walls according to the rest of my family and friends, but oh, okay. We gotta go to this side now. <gasps> A Thestral. Oh, I hope there's something Thestral-y in here. Okay. So here's the other two. This is the Ravenclaw and the Hufflepuff magnet. I will pull them out so you can actually see them. But here's the Ravenclaw and the Hufflepuff. I really love the Ravenclaw one. That's super cute. Although, I think... No, I guess that's supposed to be an eagle. I don't know. Ravenclaws are confused because we're Ravenclaw, but we're eagles. I don't know. But these are really cute. I love them. So this is all four of them together. <gasps> so cute. I kind of wish they were bookmarks, but I'm also okay with the fact that they're magnets, but I kind of wish they were bookmarks. All right. Oh, this one's just sloshing around in here, so I guess we should open it. It's the little suitcases one. And we've got, oh, we've got a Hedwig magic, ma magic, we've got a Hedwig magnet. That's cute, that's cute, that's cute, that's cute. All right, next, what do we have next, folks? Does this open? No. Okay, so we're going on the inside now. Oh my goodness, there's like more? What? These don't open. Shut up, they do. Huh. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, well, we're gonna go here first. <laughs> so, we're gonna start. I don't even know where I'm starting. Where am I starting? How am I getting this stuff out? Okay. How many things do I have so far? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have eight. Eight out of 18. So, I still have 10 more things in here. Somehow. How do I open these? Oh, I guess that one. Oh, I don't really know. I guess those you have to like actually like open, not just slide the door. Okay, maybe I don't. It's so confusing. It's so confusing. Okay. Anyway, I guess this was really fun as long as you can figure out how to open a box, which apparently I can't. So it's not as fun. Okay. I think I can get this. I think. Okay. I see. I see. Some of them have like special things. On. Okay. Well, we're gonna open up Remus Lupin next. Hello, Remus. And we have. A luggage tag, which is perfect because I'm going on vacation. <coughs> <coughs> so I have, I'm totally going to use this when I go on my cruise and to the Wizarding World, but it's a little Hogwarts Express luggage tag. Super, super duper cute. Super duper cute. All right. Next, we're going to open up Dolby. And, ooh, it's a Hedwig eraser. So it looks just like the magnet, but this one's an eraser. That's cool. Very cool. Very cool, Hedwig. Um, I feel like I say that's cool to everything, but we've got another one. So we've got a little buck beak here, and inside we've got a little buck beak eraser. So these are such cute things. Like, I never get erasers anymore. Like, that reminds me of, like, the Scholastic Book Fair as a kid, and I love every second of it. 
All right, next we have, what else opens? We have the little Slytherin, little Slytherin, Slytherin, Slyther, Slytherin, Slytherin here. And, oh, it looks like we got a pin. Ooh, oh, that's so cute. It says, Hogwarts is my home. It's Harry, Harry Potter. And it says, Hogwarts is my home. It's a little pin to put on. Oh, I love it so, oh, so wonderful. All right, now this is where I'm getting confused because what else opens? I know more things open. Do you open? Oh, holy crap. Hey, guys, 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 it just, look at that. It just keeps going. This is, this is when I was confused because it just keeps going. I understand so much more of life now because now I understand how to open this box. I was just gonna tear into it. Dang, I'm glad I didn't do that. What? There are so many more boxes. Okay. Okay, hold on. Does any of this open? Or are you just all trickery too? This is all trickery. Trickery. Trickery, I say. Okay, so we're gonna go up here. Okay, the the, the Dementors don't open, but Scabbers opens. Okay, Scabbers. What is inside you, Scabbers? So we got little Scabbers here. And it is Hermione, and it says Hogwarts is my home. Very, very cute. I love the matching sets. Let's see who's next. Um you can come the monster book of monsters who doesn't love the monster book of monsters come on guys oh it's a little harry potter notepad and it says expelliarmus harry's go-to spell and remus is like yo harry you can't use that spell like you these people are trying to kill you and you're just taking their wands away like that's not helping you any it's my favorite favorite part of of the seventh book is when remus is like okay like you just tried to disarm him are you crazy like oh okay. but that's a little notepad that's super cute I think I've said super cute and super cool to everything, but that's how I feel about these books. So, um, or these boxes, not these books. So then we gotta flip one more time, right? Flip. And we've got more. Alright. Oh, hello, little Hufflepuff. We've opened up Hufflepuff and it looks like we've got a wearable something. So let's find out what this wearable thing is. Here's like how I'm just like throwing the boxes to the side, like, give me the goods. All right, what do we got? Oh, it's not a wearable, it's a tote bag. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, I love this. Oh, I wonder if I should bring this one. So one of my girls last year got me um, a bag that says Hogwarts wasn't hiring, so I teach muggles instead, because I'm her dance teacher. And I was gonna bring that, but I also really love this. Maybe I'll need two bags, because this one's waterproof, and I don't want anything to happen to the one she gave me. This one says Spells and Charms, and it says Serpents and... I can't ever say that spell. Serpents and Torsia, Wingardium Leviosa, Expecto Patronum, and Expelliarmus. This little waterproof tote bag. That's cute. I keep saying that's cute. I gotta come up with a different phrase, guys. Alright, so next we have Dumbledore, Dumbledore with Fox the Phoenix. That's my song. What are you? Are you stickers? Oh, it's stickers. Let's find out what the stickers are. I love getting stickers. Even though I really just give them to my kids at dance, I still love them. Or are they tattoos? No, they're definitely stickers. That one says Wingardium Leviosa. That one says Expelliarmus. That one says Expecto Patronum. With Luna Lovegood, which I think is weird that Expecto Patronum is coming out of Luna. Like, I mean, I know she says it in the book because, like, obviously we know that her Patronus is the hair, but, like, She's not really known for it, you know? And then Serpents and Socia. I can't ever say that spell. I just kind of say the serpent one in my head. All right, next, 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 next. We've got a platform nine and three quarters. And, oh, what are you? I don't even know what this is. Oh, it's like washi tape. Oh, so cool. Are you washi tape? Yeah, it's washi tape. So this is the washi tape and it's got all the, I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's got like the the snake and the eagle and the Hufflepuff, the Hufflepuff, the badger and the lion um, for all the houses. And then this one has all the um, characters. So there's Ron and Harry and Hermione and Victor Crumb and um, more Victor Crumb. Apparently he needs to be on here twice, um, but they're just washi tape. Um, like the decorative tape, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is washi tape. I don't want to open it because I don't want to like get it out right now, but I'm like 90% sure that's washi tape. All right, next we have, where am I? I don't even know. Okay, now I'm on this Ravenclaw one. What are you? I feel like there's still things in here, but I also feel like maybe I'm just crazy. Okay, uh, so we have, it's like a 
screen cleaner or a lens cleaner, I don't really know. And it is got the characters on it. So it's like a lens cleaner or whatever. And it says Harry Potter and it's got Hermione and Harry and Ron and all that good stuff on it. That's cool. Um, I feel like I'm missing something. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm just being greedy, which is also a possibility. Right? But doesn't it sound like I'm missing something? Okay. Am I missing anything? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, do you come out? No. No. You stay in. What else am I missing? Okay, so I'm back to here. So I don't think I missed anything. So let's go through and check. So these are empty. Those are all empty. And then these are all empty because the, the foil ones don't open. So those are all empty. And then this one, none of them opened because it's like the next little foldy page. And then this one, none of you guys came out, right? right, right, right. Okay, nothing of that comes out. And then this one. Yeah, so I think we got it all, guys. I think we did it. I think we made it through the Infinity Magical Gift Box, which is awesome. And honestly, I'm probably going to use the box still. I don't know what for, but isn't it just awesome and cool and I don't know what I'm going to use it for but I'll find something to use it for but yeah we got a lot of cool stuff so we got the two Harry and Hermione plushes then we got the four house magnets then we've got the um two washi tapes the lens cleaner the stickers the Hogwarts is my home pin of Harry and the matching one of Hermione. And then we have the two erasers. Then we have the little notebook, which is super cute. And then we have the luggage tag. Then we have um, the keychain of Hermione and the patch of Buckbeak. Then we have um, Hedwig. And then we have the keychain of one of the twins. I can't remember her name for the life of me. It's going to kill me. I also don't know why we got a keychain of the twins because everything else was like Harry and Hermione, but that's fine. Um, and then we got the tote bag, which is so cool. So anyway, so that is what is inside the Magical Infinity gift box from uh, Barnes & Noble. I don't know if you can get it other places. I just know for a fact that it, I got it at Barnes & Noble. Um, and with my membership, it actually didn't come to a full 40. It was cheaper than that, but... Yeah, and then it comes with all the cute little boxes, and I can totally reuse this. I don't know what I'm going to reuse that for, but it's super cool. So I feel like I have to reuse it. Especially how, like, it just keeps going. It just keeps going and going and going and going and going and going. That's really cool. That's really cool, and it makes me feel magical, and it makes me feel happy, and makes me excited for my Harry Potter trip that I'm taking. Not that it's a Harry Potter trip, it's a cruise, and then I'm going to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, but it's basically a Harry Potter trip, and we're just going to pretend the whole thing is all about Harry Potter. Okay. Okay. Sorry that I'm down so low this time. I just realized that. Oh well, at least I'm back in my normal recording spot finally. Alrighty. So that is the end of the video. Sorry I had like a little coffin fit in the middle of there. Um, and that I probably didn't hold all the things up to the camera because I was really excited and not really focused on doing like a full unboxing because I was just so excited. And my phone's going off. So I guess I gotta go. Alright, thanks you guys so much for watching.